Hi, everyone. My name is Nishat Fatima. I'm the CXM Advisory Community Lead. And uh, today we have Lear Orbizo with us today, who's the head of services in APJ. He's going to talk to us about experience management, advisory, and how we really bring that together and help our customers succeed and adopt the SAP solutions. So let's jump right in. Thank you so much for joining today uh, and continuing this video series with us, Lear. Yeah, thanks to you, Nisha. Happy to be here. Yeah, happy to have you here. And I'm super excited to learn a little bit more about APJ today. So let's jump right in. Let's do it. Yep. So, uh, I mean, since we are an advisory team, I really wanted to dive right in and then talk about what impact can advisory services have on our customers and how do we really drive customer success? So we've heard from our customers loud and clear. They love the technical services that we deliver. They love our ticket. They love our technical consultants on the ground. But they also want more. They want us to be able to link our technical ability and the technical services that we deliver to the outcomes that they expect out of the relationship with SAP. And for that, you need to have that advisory layer on top. It is incredibly important. It complements perfectly our, our portfolio. And then uh, as you like mentioned advisory, what does advisory actually mean to you? I think advisory starts by understanding the customer deeply, understanding their industry, understanding their opportunity, understanding the challenges that they face, and then turning all those insights into an, an actionable plan. Mm -hmm. Right. I love the, by the way, the X and O. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Right. You know, I love it. I love it. I think it makes so much sense. Right. You understand the customer and then you turn that into an actionable plan. Right. That's, yeah. you know. Yep. No, that like uh, works right into my next question for you. So oh, really? uh, as we talk about X and O, right. Uh, so that's experience management. So what's your take on experience management and why should customers care about it and how does it really help them? Well, there's so many examples, right, where experience management has played an amazing uh, role in, in helping our customers run better. Mm -hmm. And they, so we say that we want to build amazing relationships with our customers. Our customers want to build amazing relationships with their customers. Yeah. But if we can help do that, if we can help our customers really bridge the gap and the divide and understand their customers better, then we've done our job. That's awesome. I like to like hear more about APJ, a customer. So what is the real focus of APJ and how does uh, APJ kind of differ or like how do we work globally together? Yeah, that's a great question, by the way. So strategy, SAP is one company globally. Right? Yeah. So the core of our strategy and the core of our go-to-market is the same everywhere. Right? We have the reinvent strategy by Christian. We have a pivot into outcomes by Shane. Uh, in Asia, we have Asia Soaring uh, mm -hmm. before we got now with Paul. And then in services APJ, we put it all together in, in our supercharged execution framework. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, 80% of it is the same, 20% is localized. And that is very simple. Every market is different. But even within APJ, every market is different. I could imagine. India, Korea, Japan, Southeast Asia, how different they are, right? So, and that is the part of localization that also needs to take place, right? Mm -hmm. So you mentioned Asia soaring a little bit, right? So somebody who's not from the region, what does that actually mean? Well, it's a, it's, it's a framework, right? It's a way to execute the global strategy and to bring the global strategy to the local markets, mm -hmm. right? And in order to execute the strategy, you need a framework that will allow you to do so, right, at scale, right? Mm -hmm. And then Asia Sorin was the strategy for SAP APJ. Okay. In services, we came up with our own, but everything is completely intellect. Everything is completely intellect, right? So if our strategy for SAP APJ is to deliver the intelligent enterprise to our customers. If it is to be the number one in experience management, mm -hmm. then our job is to make that a reality, right? Services is the arm of SAP that delivers the outcomes for our customers. 
No, that's awesome. And I totally agree. Services, I being biased and being in services, I feel like we really take the software to the next level and really help our customers achieve that adoption and yeah. ensure success, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, before we let you leave today, any like uh, advice or parting thoughts for our customers and how we uh, drive success for our customers and how we benefit them with advisory, with XM and how we like bring all of that together and provide them with the best experience that they can expect from SAP? Yeah, Nisha, I, I am a massive believer in uh, C1S203. Customers first, SAP second, line of business there. <clears throat> and the way I bring that to action is very simple. Number one is we need to build amazing relationships with our customers. We need to think long term in the way we interact with our customers. And our customers, like every human being, you know when somebody is in for you or somebody is not in for you. Right? And that, that starts with understanding our customers deeply. I always make an effort of understanding what are the challenges that our customers are facing. Mm-hmm. getting all those insights and then coming back to the customer with a plan that in customer terms will, will help the customer advance his or her agenda. But it all starts with the relationship and the relationship always starts with us making the effort to understand the customer. Right? You need to understand the person that is in front of you. Right? That's, that's point number one. Right? But point number two is this is a team sport. Mm-hmm. Our job in services is to help SAP sell software and to help our customers adopt that software and get the value that they expect out of it. Mm-hmm. And they, as such, so we need to play that game, right? And then the, the third pillar is obviously the line of business. And ours is a people business. Yep. That's what we do, right? So on that third pillar, we just need to take care of our people. Yep. Understand your customer very deeply and build that relationship with your customers. Understand that this is a team sport and that our game is clear to help our customers buy our software, adopt it and get the value that they expect out of it. And then the third one is in services, we take care of our people. Mm-hmm. No, I completely agree. I think relationships are super important and that's how we really ensure that trust in our product and our customers and actually build that long-term relationship, right? So I think I completely agree with you there. Very good. And the experience management helps very much on the first one, by the way. That's Understanding true. <laughs> that's that's not... that. Yep, that's so true. So uh, again, I think this was great. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and talking about XM and talking about advisory and your commitment to what we're doing here. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, Nishat, I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much. It was really cool. Awesome. Thank you so much.